Hello everybody, in this video we are going to talk about Explain SDK and how we can set it up and build our own first project. I mean, hello world. <clears throat> okay, let's start with the definition of SDK and what is SDK. To those of you that uh, are working with Explain, you know that there are lots of plugins out there. And what plugins do is they add some functionality to your experience. You can do anything. You can change our view, you can change your instruments, you can uh, change how the instruments work, the controlling behavior and everything. You can do those real-time inside your application, inside your explain with SDK and plugins. So by now you should know what is explain to start. Explain is something between you and explain, something between a programmer and SDK. So SDK is software development kit and it lets you interact with the explain core and access its data or manipulate whatever you need. Uh, before starting, let me say something to you that I'm not a professional programmer, so some concepts that I'm telling you may have some wrong definitions, maybe uh, as a view of a software engineer, but I'm just, I'm programming for my purpose and just trying to make everything work. So maybe I tell you something theoretically wrong, but it works. So I think that's worth a try. Okay, and for explain SDK, for those of you that uh, are searching for this topic, you see that there are very, very few topics out there in YouTube uh, or tutorials out there. So the best reference is the explain website by itself. There is only a video for about 10 years ago on how to build uh, the Hello World. Or with Visual Basic 2007 or 8, I think that it's uh, very outdated. Um, there is also another one for 2015, I think. And also the best video out there is the stream video of Jay Roland, uh, about eight hours. <laughs> so if you want to watch that, you should keep in mind that it's so long, but it's very good video. I started with that and I used that, uh, so. Uh, I owe you, J. Roland, for your video. Now I want to sum everything up, summary it up, and make it clean and update a little bit and uh, add some recommendations to what J. Roland said. Okay, <clears throat> let's start. What you need for um, using SDK and create your plugin? So, at first, you need to explain itself. Explain 11, I recommend you, but if you have explained 10, it doesn't matter. Then you need an IDE. I strongly recommend you to use Visual Studio. Uh, J. Roland said that don't use uh, Visual Studio and use code blocks because it's uh, Visual Studio is so huge amount of using huge amount of your hard drive. <clears throat> but I recommend you use Visual Studio and uh, because. Uh, if you see J. Roland video, you see he was struggling about seven or eight hours to just compile his uh, plugin for 64 bit uh, because he was using code blocks. Uh, if he had used Visual Studio, Visual Studio have everything you need in a package. It's very big, but it has everything you need. You don't need to struggle with anything inside the compiler. I don't know, looking for dependencies, looking for Microsoft Visual C++ redistribution or anything else. I only recommend you to use code blocks or other IDEs if you know what you're doing. If you know exactly what you do, you know everything about the linkers, the dependencies, the, how the libraries react and interact with the IDE. So if you don't know that and if you, are, you have enough space in your uh, Computer, I strongly suggest you to use Visual Studio. There is also there is a few ver uh, free version out there, Visual Studio commu community version, and also there are paid version. You can go to Visual Studio website and download it for Windows, and you can have the community version for free, or you have professional and enterprise. Community version will also work with our purpose. There is no problem with that. But right now, I have the professional version. After uh, downloading Visual Studio or any other ideas that you like, you go to next step, you need to explain SDK. Just simply search explain SDK in Google and you'll find it. And this, these are the three videos I told you about, the J. Roland and 
after the one in 2015. Okay, we go to SDK documentation. This is the best reference for explaining SDK right now out there. There are some descriptions. I strongly recommend you to read this to know what you're doing. You have sample codes, downloads, and documents. In documents, you can find all the functions, libraries, classes, and so on. So just we want to start. Uh, you can go to download and download the latest version of SDK. You can use the latest version right now is 301, and it's only work on uh, 11.2 and newer version. It doesn't matter if you have a lower version of Explainer. You can. <coughs> You can build your plugin for older experience, no matter. Always download the latest version. Uh, after that, you go to sample codes. You see there are lots of codes out here, lots of projects, and they are the best reference out there. You can use them to work. The first plugin that we are going to use today is Hello World. <coughs> Click on it. Uh, what we have after this tutorial, what we have is this box. We have this hello world box inside our plugin. Not very interesting, but believe me, this is the first step. Uh, you need to build this to start to interact with Explain SDK. If you are using Mac, you can download the Xcode, project for Xcode, uh, and it really doesn't have any difference with what I'm telling to you. Uh, Visual Studio is almost the same as Xcode. Uh, everything I tell you is almost the same in Xcode. You can find it yourself. Right now we are using Windows and we use, uh, download the project for Visual Studio 2017. Doesn't matter <coughs> if you have other versions like 2000. I don't know if other versions come later. Uh, you can simply download it. And no need to download the SDK itself because this project has SDK in, in it. I, I will show you right now. <coughs> you see, uh, the SDK folder is already here, so you don't need to download the SDK separately. So, uh, first, uh, you should extract these files, this three, four, uh, this SDK folder, and these two files to somewhere you're comfortable, anywhere you want. I do it in, for example, my sources and a new volume. Here I create a folder called uh, YouTube Project, YouTube Tutorial SDK. Okay, and I'm going to copy all this to here. Almost done. <clears throat> now you can simply open this project uh, or you can go to Visual Studio and use open project and open this. I am going to do from right here. If you haven't used Visual Studio, you will have some work to do here, building, uh, configuring the compiler for 64 bits, for 32 bits, and a little, a little more work. Uh, it doesn't have any difference. But if you are not an expert in programming, I strongly recommend you to use Visual Studio. Okay, it's open. You can see in the right uh, uh, solution explorer that our uh, low world project is here. And the source code is here. You can see it's almost a huge file, almost 110 lines only to show a hello world. But don't afraid because there are some lines in here that there's no need to know about this. Uh, you will know it by the time, by the time that you're editing each line, each time you learn about something else. So uh, let's go to the next step. You can see that some of the uh, libraries and uh, Object functions or objects that we are using are not defined, so we have to do something before continue. Uh, simply come to the Hello World project, right click on it and click on properties or use this icon 
to come to project uh, configuration. First of all, uh, if you are using any, uh, your Windows is not 8.1, change it to the SDK version that you have because this project is made with Windows 8.1 as using Windows SDK version 8.1. I'm using Windows 10, so I have to change it to SDK version 10. Then go to VC plus, uh, plus directories. And first of all, you come here to include directories. You have to tell the explain that where are the directories and include uh, that H files that is looking for. So click on this arrow, edit. First of all, make sure that you are uh, configuring for release version. You can also create it for debug version and x64 or you can have 32 versions as well. But keep in mind that uh, for SDK 3, I believe you only have 64 bit. You can't, I don't know, I'm not sure. Okay, but I strongly recommend you to use 64 bit because almost all the way, all the pieces right now are using 64 bit explain. And I'm going to configure it for release version, include directories, edit, and use this new line and put this browse icon. I click on browse icon now. You have to. Uh, go to where you stored your folder, SDK folder, you can see new volume, SDK, you go to C headers, XPLM, here is the file, uh, explain uses all this folder, but if you include, uh, give the address of XPLM folder, it will know what to do with the next SAP, it will include other objects by itself, so no need to include other folders, only XPLM, and OK. Next step is library directories. You come here, edit, just like that. New line, browse, SDK. This time we go to libraries. If you are using Mac, you can select Mac, and if not, Windows. Select folder and done. Right now you see there is no error, and everything is working great. I'm not going to go inside this code and tell you about what its line is doing. I'm doing it in the next tutorial that we are going to create a new data ref. So just for now, we are going to have fun and build this project and put it inside our explain and enjoy it. Okay, from here, I put it in release mode and here, build, rebuild. Mm, better to use first clean the project and then build the project if it's not your first time. From panels down here, you can see the project. There is no error until now. It's linking to the libraries and one succeeded, zero fail. So everything is okay now. So what's the next step? You go to where you store your project, go to release, six uh, plugins. And this is your plugin folders. Hello world SDK. Inside that you have you have a folder called 64, and inside that you have this win.xpl, which is uh, a DLL. Uh, somehow it's dynamic link library. If you don't know what it is, no problem. No need to know. Just copy it. Or explain the directory, and it should work. Okay. In directory, and there's something I have to tell you before I go on. Uh, explain. Okay. There are two type of, uh, I think, two type of exp uh, explain plugins out there. Some plugins are attached to the explain core, core explain that are stored in resources, plugins here. You can see I have already have some plugins here, such as data of editor, flight data recorder, and so on. There are also some other kind of uh, plugins that are attached to the plane itself. For example, you have a special plugin for Cessna 172. So you have that only for 172, so it won't work, it won't be for there for other airplanes. I'm going to use this kind of plugin, so I'm going to attach it only to one aircraft. So I go to aircraft folders, laminar researchers, and I'm going to use Baron B58 because it's already loaded, I think. 
yes so I copy this folder totally this folder that is built by Visual Studio and copy it to Baron uh, B58 plugins folders and here if you don't have this folder if you don't see this plugin for your own aircraft or other aircraft you can simply create it create it plugins and put the folder here why it's not copying what did I do I copied something else I think okay it's done just to check 64 in that XPL is here now what we need to do is come back to display and developer reload the current aircraft and we hope to see the hello world yes it's here you can see we already built our first project you can manage the project from this menu plugin admin enable disable you can see all the uh, plugins you have this is our plugin hello world it's the key trip like you can disable it, enable it, and so on. So, congratulations, you have already built your own uh, plugin. Uh, let me know if you have any problem or any question about this. Uh, I'm going to continue this tutorials maybe and create another video to dive more into the SDK. In the next video, we are going to create a, a, a data ref, a new data ref and we talked about how to do that and I will tell you more about that and uh, if you build this project successfully I recommend you to come here and use other projects other projects you have actually lots of projects out here you can use them to test your uh, visual studio and see what it's doing how it's doing there are some uh, simple uh, projects here, such as, uh, for example, sim data or position and override. These are the one of the most simple. You can use this position and override just like what, what I did for Hello World. Go ahead and download it and build it and see how it's working. If you have any question, come to the comments section and I will get back to you. And sorry if this tutorial is not very good because it's my first experience uh, having a tutorial video to explain. I hope it helps you. Uh, goodbye. Happy flying.